Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. I'm here with Yoris Port from Rescale. How are you doing today? Doing great, Rich. Thanks for having me. Well, well, Yoris, why don't we start at the beginning? I mean, can you tell us, you know, get us acquainted with who is Rescale and can you describe, you know, the kind of customers that you're helping out there? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Rescale, we're a, a cloud simulation platform company. So we provide uh, a few different products. One is an engineering simulation platform. One is an IT administration portal to really allow customers to run as much hardware and as much software as they want uh, on the fly in the browser. And type of customers are really large Fortune 500 companies in verticals like automotive, aerospace, life sciences, and energy. Uh, and we've really had a big focus on CAE software tools. And so they're running tools like fluid dynamics, finite element analysis, and, and they're scaling up to thousands of cores on the fly on demand. Okay, can, well let's you know, drill down a little bit. Can you give me an example of the type of customer that would use Rescale for running simulation in the cloud? Yeah, absolutely. So a uh, typical kind of enterprise customer is a large uh, Fortune 500 automotive tier one manufacturer. Now they typically already have an on-premise HPC cluster, so they're really using Rescale to kind of uh, for overflow usage and eventually cluster replacement. But initially it's really to augment an existing on-premise cluster mm -hmm. to be able to, when they hit those critical kind of design cycles, be able to burst on demand for the hardware and the software they need. Yeah, yeah, because I was going to ask you about that. I saw a study recently that said 99% of engineering jobs are still done at the desk or the desk side. Yeah. But it sounds like Rescale, that's where you guys come in when they need a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. And so directly through the browser, um, an engineer can really spin up as many hardware resources and software licenses as they need. Um, they can just do that uh, with a nice, easy to use platform. So no need to understand uh, in-depth kind of Linux scripting and, and bash and all this mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of the old school. Um, so now they can access it directly through the browser. Okay. Okay. So through this different, this remote paradigm, what are the important factors to consider if you're thinking about moving your, your workload out to the cloud? Yeah, great question. So it's really around a platform solution that provides uh, the hardware, so best-in-class hardware, uh, best-in-class software, and really have all the software you want to run. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, security is a big one, of course, um, and be able to handle and, and trust that you can uh, provide your proprietary data in this kind of system. And finally, it's really around support and ease of use for the engineers, because if it's too difficult to use, engineers are just not going to use it. Right, right. Well, I wanted to ask you about security, because you know that's the company jewels, right? Their designs and everything. They, you wouldn't want that running alongside the competitor's workload and maybe swap in the wrong memory or something. So, so what does Rescale do to ensure security in this paradigm? Great question. Yeah, we've really, uh, from the ground up, built, uh, first of all, a native cloud platform. And some of the advantages of that are really uh, handling kind of security head on. Mm -hmm. um, and especially in a, in a cloud system, essentially you really have to handle security because uh, you're already going remote in immediately, right? So compared to an on-premise system where you might close it off with a firewall and then it can get penetrated. So what we do is really encrypt all the data client side um, on the fly, so any piece of data that's uploaded before it leaves the desktop or the laptop, it's already encrypted. And then when the actual simulations are run, these are kind of in isolated environments where every customer is kept separate from each other. Um, so it's really like your own custom private cluster, uh, but the best part is you don't need to pay for it when you're not using it. Yeah, yeah. Well, well can you tell me some examples of customers that we might have heard of that are, are using Rescale? Sure, absolutely. So we have a lot of large enterprises and some of our more exciting customers are uh, companies like Trek Bicycle. So they're using Rescale to run uh, finite element analysis and CFD and really combine multiple tools together and run an optimization. So multi multidisciplinary type optimization um, across different commercial tools. Yeah. So that's an exciting application. Then another one of our customers, uh, Tentech, they're doing a lot of defense kind of consulting work. So they require kind of an ITAR secure platform. And so in that case, we provide uh, an ITAR secure platform that is kind of for US persons only. And they're running uh, defense and, and, and things for the aerospace industry, which are export controlled. Right, right. OK, so you can answer that security question. But I work with a lot of the old school HPC guys, right? And they've, they've been saying for years, oh, HPC in the cloud, that'll never work. Uh, uh, how would you respond to that? Sure. Um, you know, certainly uh, several years ago when kind of cloud computing first came around, uh, I would say, you know, HPC type workloads really weren't a good fit for the cloud. So latency, performance issues, uh, data transfer up and down. 
Now that's really changing. So what we've seen over the last few years is, first of all, a lot of Fortune 500 enterprises are moving completely to the cloud. Um, and so what that means is that they've really started evaluating kind of what is the performance and what's the ROI from taking a workload from an on-premise cluster uh, to a cloud system. And it really comes down to performance. So once you get performance within you know, 10, 20% of what you expect relative to an on-premise cluster, all the other benefits of cloud computing, so having kind of a worldwide network of as much hardware as you want refreshed on a quarterly basis, um, it's really a much better solution than trying to build your own on-premise systems when you're really trying to focus on the company on kind of what the core competency is. So like, you know, if you're an automotive manufacturer, you shouldn't be an expert in running HPC systems. You can leave that to a provider who really specializes in that. Yeah, yeah, because that's, that's your bread and butter. You provide that environment for them. Okay, so kind of a wrap-up question here. Uh, you know, it seems to me that uh, I'm, I'm curious about Rescale and how kind of conversations you've had and how they've changed over the years, right? Are, do you find yourself with a new customer, you have to convince them that cloud's a good idea? Or, or they already know they want to go there and you help them show how it's possible? Great question, yeah, so a few years ago, um, when we started the company, this was certainly, you know, we really started working with the early adopters who really didn't know even their route to cloud. They find it very interesting. They started adopting it. Um, and in our case, these were space companies. And so they had a really high security requirement, um, but they really, you know, they needed a huge amount of capacity and they didn't really have uh, kind of the capital around to be able to build out all the on-premise systems. Um, over time, this has really changed now. So now you see a lot of Fortune 500s, a lot of RFQs out there, and they're trying to figure out how can they make the transition to cloud computing because the ROI is clearly there. It's a much better cost model, um, and it's much more flexible. Kind of it really lets IT be agile and respond to what the engineers really need, um, as opposed to just trying to kind of band-aid fix it here and there. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like cloud computing is here for HPC, and uh, if I was to ask you. Well, why rescale and why not uh, say AWS? What would you say? Yeah, this is a great question. Yeah. So yeah. it really comes down to if you really want a platform solution or you just want a bunch of on-demand hardware. And so if you just want on-demand hardware, there's a lot of providers that'll provide you a server, right? But uh, for HPC, and this is what these experts really know, is it really requires a lot of tuning, requires a lot of applications, requires a security environment to be able to trust with your data. Um, and finally, it really requires kind of a user experience overall. It allows an engineering organization to easily transition from an on-premise cluster. And so Rescale provides exactly that. And you know, Amazon is a great partner of ours. So you know, they actually provide a great amount of you know, cloud hardware for customers. And so for us, it's really about partnering with them to provide that best-in-class experience across the hardware that they offer.